In this section, we're going to be talking about mesh density and mesh control points. To show you that, I'm going to start with a mesh box. My top view, I draw a square. My right view, or perspective view, I control the other dimension. And you can see the density here. Now I can change the density of any of my shapes with this tool here. Boxes, planes, spheres, cylinders, cones. Let's increase X, Y, and Z to 20. Press OK. Then I've got to recreate my box. As you can see, it's a lot denser. Density reflects the number of polygons and the number of control points. The other way, of course, to change polygon mesh density is to reduce the polygon count. We can say 50% here. But in something like a box, as you can see, this actually causes a lot of stretching with my polygons. The one side has been stretched completely, and there are actually no control points here. Let's undo that and try a sphere. Here's my sphere, tools, polygon mesh. First we'll take a look at the control points. Polygon mesh, reduce. It's already at 264 polygons. That's pretty small. So how do we start with a more dense sphere? Let's go in here. 30, 30 for spheres, cylinders, cones. And here it is, a much smoother shape. Edit points will not work for meshes, only control points. So I turn on my control points. Then I can use any of my tools on my control points, like my rotate tool, my scale tool, bend, twist, taper, and the transform menu. I'm going to use my scale tool here. Just to show you some of the interesting things we can do here with the control points. I could then bend my shape. And also, with the Select menu, Edit, Control Points, I can hide points as well, or show them. If I click Hide, I get a preview of only what's left. Now pressing Control Z for Undo will actually undo the thing that I did before hiding the control points, which was a bend. So once again, control points can always be turned on or off for any mesh. The density can be controlled here. And then, of course, your density can also be reduced. The Reduce Polygons tool, Reduce Mesh, 50%. And the mesh can also be smoothed which sometimes works well, sometimes not, X, Y, and Z. If I press OK, let's take a look at what we've got here. Quite a mess. But if I go back and change my smooth factor from 5 to 0.1, as you can see, this did indeed smooth the mesh a little bit. So these settings can be tweaked and played around with to get the best result.